Welcome back guys. This is the third video in the series of make your own Arduino Uno. In the first video we have shown you how to make a Uno on a breadboard and in the previous one we converted that breadboard version to a permanent PCB. In both cases the blink sketch was working perfectly. So if you haven't watched those videos click here because obviously it will be easier for you to understand. So in this part 3 we will be programming the Arduino IC aka Atmega 328P using USB ASP. By this method, we don't need to remove the IC from the IC base, just hook up some wires in the power and control pins and we will program the IC. So let's begin. This is the USB AVR programmer that we will be using. It cost me around $3 in the local market. So if you look closer, then you can find that there are 10 female sockets to plug in jumpers. But we need only 6. In some cases, this device comes with 10 to 6 pin cable, but you don't need to worry about it. Now the 6 pins are VCC, Ground, MOSI, MISO, RESET and SCK. Same pins are there in Atmega 328P IC as you can see here. Now, you just have to connect the corresponding pins from USB ASP to the Atmega 328P. From the previous video of ours, you will know that these are the 6 pins required. The PCB is made in that way because it will be easier to connect the jumpers. Now after completing the connections, insert the USB device to your laptop. Open device manager and find the device there. You will see a yellow exclamatory mark beside it because the driver is not installed. Now here is a tricky part. The driver installation is not that simple because this device doesn't have any digital signature and by default your system will not allow the driver to be installed for obvious reasons. So you have to tweak some settings and then the driver will be installed and the yellow mark will be gone. To do this, go to the link given in the description and follow the steps. When it is done, come back and proceed. Now I have uploaded the software that I will be using in the drive which is also given in the description below. Download it and install it. When it is done, open the software. Select the programmer as USB ASP that is there in the bottom of the list. Select the option, select the MCU in the MCU part and click on detect. It will detect the original chip number that is connected. For me, it is Atmega 328P. Now, you have to find the hex file of an Arduino code. To do this, just write the code in the IDE and save and compile the code. When the compilation is completed, don't close the IDE. Just press Windows plus R. This will open a run window. Then type in percentile temp percentile and enter. Sort the files according to time and find the lastly made folder. Inside that folder, you will see a file named exactly the same as the Arduino code that you have saved. The extension will be .hex. Copy the file to your desktop. Now again, switch back to the programmer software. Drag and drop the file in the flash section. Click on go with the right option selected. Now you can see the progress here in the bottom. When it is done, you will see the new LED blink pattern that we wrote in the IDE. Then just remove all the wirings and simply connect the power to the board. And you will see that the new code will be executing perfectly. In my case, it is on for 1 second and off for 0.5 second. The same pattern will be followed infinite times. So this is how you can program this IC on board and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you are new, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel guys. Your support helps us to make more videos. Keep sharing. Also follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more updates. 
All the links are given in the description below. Until then, bye.